Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are hiking in the South Cumberland Plateau State Park to the Buggy Top Cave, and we are going to hike through the cave, water allowing. So, uh, come along with us. Today I'm joined by Jacob and Jonathan. <laughs> In this video, Jonathan, Jacob, and I hiked to and through the Lost Cove Cave, also known as the Buggy Top Cave, in the South Cumberland State Park, just south of Suwannee, Tennessee. The trail starts out climbing up from the parking area to the top of the ridge line. Then it follows the ridge for a short distance before plunging down into the valley below. After about 1.7 miles, you reach a branch point in the trail where you can either go to the Buggy Top Cave entrance or you can go through the Peters entrance. We wanted to go to the Peters entrance, so we went off that way. This is a map of the Lost Cove Cave. You can see the buggy top entrance is over here. And uh, over here is the entrance we intended to go into, which is Peter's entrance. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the trail on all trails crosses over here past uh, this point here. And all trails map indicates that this is Peter's entrance, which it's not. This is a uh, unnamed side entrance, right? It's actually up here. <laughs> it's right there. Um, so, we, uh, we ended up descending steeply down. This is our steep slope down into the cave, uh, into a rocky area here at the bottom. Uh, when we got here, we could see light coming in from Buggy Top over here. So we knew that we were not in the right place. We shouldn't have been able to see light. Um, so uh, we decided to go upstream. Um, so we crossed over here and uh, headed upstream. There's a little bit of a rock climb here, not too bad. And then you, uh, you get into this long, really nice, flat, sandy or gravel bottomed uh, hallway here. Uh, it's just a, uh, a very easy go for the most part. We went through it pretty quick. Um, there was uh, um, just a couple of rocks up and down, nothing hard at all. And then over here, we had to uh, cross, we went around a bend to the right. Uh, um, so that was a pretty important milestone there. Uh, we crossed over the stream and then had to uh, climb up some rocks pretty steeply here. It was a, a little bit more technical climb up to the top of this pile of rocks. And uh, in here, this is where we, uh, we basically stopped. Uh, that's as far as I went. The, uh, the boys continued on. They went down here into this room and, and took some pictures down here. Um, but I stayed up here. Uh, the, uh, the Peter's entrance, we knew we were close to it because we could feel the hot air coming in through this side channel over here. Uh, but we ended up not going up there. We thought, well, we're close enough. <laughs> and so we had a snack there and everything. And then, uh, then we just headed back out the way we came. Just came on back down the, uh, the tunnel here. That's all easy going through the sand, um, the gravel and the sand. Uh, then when we got back to the big room here, which is well lit from this entrance on the side, um, you know, we uh, crossed back over the stream and clambered over rocks. Uh, there's another rock pile here that we got our way over top of. And once we got there, we entered this, uh, this big room right here, which is the entrance room. Um, and so, uh, and then you had, you know, we were just a straight shot out to the buggy top entrance. So that is, uh, that's how we uh, navigated our way through the cave. After exiting the cave and hydrating up with freshly filtered water, we started the long ascent back up to the top of the ridge. The route we took through the Lost Cove cave was relatively easy, didn't require special equipment other than multiple flashlights, and was a lot of fun. It does require you to get a permit online from the South Cumberland State Park before you visit, and I would recommend helmets, even a bike helmet, even though we forgot ours. But otherwise, I recommend this hike to anyone who's a little more adventuresome. There's nobody at the parking area but us. We are at the trailhead to the Buggy Top Trail. It says it's two miles to the cave. I don't think it's quite that far. But uh, off we go. Oh yeah. A big snail under there. <laughs> Decent yep. size. Uh huh. Sorry, buddy. All right, here's the actual cave sign right at the top of the ridge, but it's part of the uh, South Cumberland State Park, and uh, some st information about bats. Um, the cave we're going to, Buggy Top Cave is only open from May 1st through the end of August uh, as a way to protect the bats that roost there over the winter and hibernate. So that's why it's open only in the summer. 
we are probably at the summit <laughs> of our hike, such as it is. Um, yeah, and uh, should start heading downhill now. Ah, look at that. That's quite the little whoop, slippery bridge. I'm not sure it's value added. Is it for, oh, what's it for? Bikes? No. It's so slippery. Yeah, I think I'd rather walk on the walk rocks right now. Whoo, that's slick. It's kind of wet out here. It rained pretty good yesterday. So that's uh, lowered the temperature to a point where we think we can tolerate it. <laughs> we'll see when we come out. That will be the real trick. But boy, they've done a lot of good trail work here. Lots of steps. Oop, bumped the tree and got a little wet there. One of the hazards to hiking mid-summer to mid-fall is all the spiders that construct their webs across the trail. So Jacob's up there with a stick clearing the way as we're going. It is critical that you do that or you just get covered in them. Uh, they don't do any harm. They drop off as soon as they figure out that they're on somebody. But uh, it's still not, not comfortable to be wrapped in silk when you're all sweaty. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So uh, definitely a good tip. Carry a stick and sweep it in front of you to clear the spider webs, which will get about 80% of them. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of caves below us because there are sinkholes like this one everywhere. Sure sign. Water goes in and comes out somewhere way downhill somewhere. Yep. There are lots of little toads hopping around the forest this morning. See them right there? <laughs> we are going down, 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 which means when it's hot later today, we have to go up, up, up. All right, the sign says we've come in 1.7 miles. And we are at a viewpoint, and I hear water running. So if you want to go to the, uh, the big entrance to the cave, the famous part, like if you're not going to go in the cave very far, buggy top is where to go. We're going to go over to the Peter entrance, which is to the left here, because our hope is to hike through the cave. Though it's sure sounding like a lot of water down there. <laughs> so we'll see. Wow, this is a viewpoint here. All right, so the cave entrance, the buggy top entrance, I think is right below us here. Right down there. I see water running. All right, let's keep going. Cool. Put laps on? Uh, yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is the... Uh, the Peter's entrance, as I, it's a steep descent. Yeah, but it's dry, right? It is, Down I there, see that. So. That's good. All right, down we go. That's where we just came in from. That is very cool. Into the blackness ahead. I'm going to have to switch cameras. It's a big room in here from this entrance. 
That is so beautiful up there. So we said that that's the uh, Peter's entrance. It is not. That is a side entrance to the main entrance, which is just downstream from us. The Peter's entrance is up that way. So we're going to go upstream a ways and see what there is to see. And then come back out and go out the, uh, the main entrance, the buggy top. There are soda straws on the ceiling. It's very sandy here, like a sandy beach. The rock formations here, the layers are really cool. I think those are mostly fossils up there. Although here's some flowstone. I just think out live, it's the bomb, right? Yeah. It's a very peaceful cave here. Yeah. Hey, there's a, a stalagmite or stalactite. the ceiling there for a while, hasn't it? Oh. Just climbed up over a rock pile into a cloud layer, which is up here, but down here is the bottom of the cloud layer. That's very cool. The cloud layer in here is so cool. Yeah, the, John and Jacob were down by the river down there checking out this giant room with a cloud in the middle. <laughs> that is so cool. So shine on something exactly opposite me so I get your silhouette. Yeah, there, that looks really cool. All right, come on back up. See, there's a small one right here on the rock, right there. Oh yeah. And then there's a big one right under here. the rock. Under the rock. Oh yeah, I see it moving. Heading on down to Buggy Top. Lots of soda straws on the ceiling here and the black minerals, whatever that is. And below us, there's a little pond of water here. We just came through a literal beach. I mean, it's, it's sand. <laughs> it's very nice. Water's right over here. And uh, that side entrance is up ahead of us here that we came in on, the false entrance. So we're gonna round past that and head towards Buggy Top. We gotta cl climb the boulders here, I think. It's amazing how that side entrance up there lights this up from the camera. All right, we are hopping boulders here. And lots and lots of rocks with the water right underneath us. There's our first side of the buggy top entrance. And this is the buggy top entrance. I'm going to turn around and show you the big cavern behind me. And the dark area is where we came from.
This is the buggy top entrance. Now that's an entrance, yeah. Man, it's hard to even capture the size of this entrance. Wow. It's just ginormous. Yep, nice breeze coming out of the cave here. Makes you think the outside is not as hot as that. As it actually is, right? I stepped into the sunlight and regretted it. Yeah. <laughs> the high today is supposed to be about 96 with very high humidity, so it's going to be rough climbing up out of here, but it's not up that high today, right now. Or I mean 86, not 96, so not that bad. All right, so that was the, uh, this is the buggy top entrance of uh, what's really now called the Lost Cove Cave, but a lot of people just call it the buggy top cave. And uh, that was really, really cool. A very uh, approachable wild cave. Man, that's quite the cliff along here, isn't it? All right, so we're heading back out into the heat to head up the mountain. Now the fun part. Yep, we only have like 700 feet to climb. Hey, look at that. Wow. You know what that means? That this was once in the cave. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh lordy. Yep, all right, we hit the heat. This is gonna be slow going, I'm afraid. Uh-huh. Whew, got a rock to go up over here. All right, the sign says trails to the right, but man, that's pretty rugged. That's a vicious trail. Oh wait, we made it to the top of the cliff. That was a bit of a climb. Now we're back to the sign here where the Peter and the buggy top split. So, turns out we never made it to Peter, but we got pretty close on the inside of the cave. Next time, I'll go all the way. But uh, still, very cool cave. And a really beautiful valley down there. All right, we just gotta climb the mountain now. You can do it. All right, we are climbing up and up and up. We've gotten to those stone stairs. That's a milestone. We are almost there. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I <sighs> it's warm and humid today. All right, it is worth celebrating. We made it to the summit. Woo! <laughs> now we can kind of coast back towards the uh, the car. I think <laughs> I don't remember there being significant anything here. So we're right along the ridge. The highway's off to our right. I can't hear any cars, but it's off there. Yep. And the the cave we went to is off to our left, way at the bottom of the valley. We are back to the sign. That means it's all downhill from here. Back down to the car.